All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 65. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by write, rewriting 3 to the power of n as 3 to the power of n to the power of 1. And I have minus 2 to the power of n to the power of 1 is equal to 65. And anything to the power of 1 is itself. So 3 to the power of n to the power of 1 is simply 3 to the power of n. Now, I'm going to rewrite 1 as 2 over 2. And 2 over 2, that's 1 again, so it's the same exact thing. So I'm going to do the same for 2 to the power of n. So now the reason I did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So n times 2 over 2, that's the same thing as 3 to the power of n over 2 times 2. Or sorry, to the power of 2. And the same thing for this. Now I'm going to let 3 to the power of n over 2 equal a and 2 to the power of n over 2 equal b. So now I have a squared minus b squared is equal to 65. And a squared minus b squared, that's the same thing as a plus b times a minus b. And 65 I can rewrite as 13 times 5. So I have a plus b times a minus b is equal to 13 times 5. And we can say that a plus b is equal to 13 and a minus b is equal to 5. So now I have a system of equations. And to do this, I'm going to cancel these two out, add a and a. So I get 2a is equal to 13 plus 5, which is 18, meaning a equals 9. And if a equals 9, I can go ahead and plug in back to this one of these equations. I'm going to do here, so I get 9 minus b is equal to 5, meaning b is equal to 4. So a equals 9 and b equals 4. Now remember how we let a equal 3 to the power of n over 2. So 3 to the power of n over 2 equals 9, meaning n is equal to 4. And 2 to the power of n over 2 is equal to 4, meaning, again, n is equal to 4. So the, this is my solution. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the power of 6 on both sides. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. And this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. So x to the power of x to the power of 6 to the power of 6, I can actually switch these two places. So now I have x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 6 equal to the variable y. And now, because we have 2x to the power of 6 over here, I can simply substitute in y for x to the power of 6 into my equation. So if I do that, I get y to the power of y is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now what I'm going to do is rewrite 144 as 12 squared. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 12 squared to the power of 6. So now what we're going to do is 
remember how we have this property. If I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, as well as a to the power of n times m. So I have 12 to the power of 2 to the power of 6, and this is the same thing as 12 to the power of 2 times 6. And 2 times 6, that's equal to 12. So I have y to the power of y is equal to 12 to the power of 12. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y to the power of y is equal to 12 to the power of 12, meaning y is equal to 12. And now remember how we let x to the power of 6 equal to y. So I have x to the power of 6 is equal to 12, meaning x is equal to the 6 root of 12. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to eight to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite four as two squared. So I have two to the power of x plus two squared to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. And this is also equal to a to the power of m times n. So right here, we have two to the power of two to the power of x, and I can switch to an x. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, I can switch x and 3. So this is going to equal 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So now I have y plus y squared is equal to y to the power of 3. And now to solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as y to the power of 3 minus y squared minus y is equal to 0. And I'm going to factor out y. So I get y times y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I get y equals 0, and I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So y equals 0 is already a solution. And for y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0, if you use the quadratic formula and solve that, you get y equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now remember how we let... 2 to the power of x equal to y. So first off, we have 2 to the power of x equals 0, and you can't take the power of a number and make it equal to 0, so there's no solution for this. Now we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So first off, 1 minus the square root of 5 is negative, and the negative number divided by 2 is still negative. You can't take the power of a positive number and make it negative, so there's no solution for that. So the only solution that we can find is 2 to the power of x equals 1 plus square root of 5. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. And I get x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, over log 2, sorry. 